Okay, so week two, back and biceps. Hopefully you've done your five minute warm up, okay, and you're stretching of the back. So hold on to a pose, so lean away and stretch the back, and give the biceps a quick old stretch. Okay, don't forget to stretch in between each set. So this week we're doing pyramid sets and supersets. We're gonna go for the lat pull down, which you've already done. And on top of that, at the end of the pyramid set, so we're gonna do a standard pyramid set on the first lat pull down, put loads of blood and connect with the muscle. You're then gonna jump straight into your first superset. Or you can do the pyramid, rest a little bit, and then do your first, first superset. So the superset is gonna be a wide lat pull down, and then a reverse neutral grip pull down. And the superset will be done at least four times around with a little bit of rest in between and stretching. So we're gonna crack on with this. Okay, so here's my pyramid set. So I'm with 15 reps, okay, on the first one. Don't forget the little stretch at the top if you can. Okay, so 15, and then we go 15 harder with a heavier weight, then uh, 12, and then 10 to 12. And if you can, jump straight into the first set of supersets. Well, say we're resting a little bit. So then I want to go to my superset after I rested. So my superset is, okay, a good set of anything between eight to 12 reps. So the pick a weight, you hit that, then reps. Okay, squeeze. Okay, so I'm coming up to the end of my sets. I'm on about 10 reps a day. I'm starting to fatigue. Oh, can't get any more. Okay, so then I'll go to a neutral grip. All right, go straight to that. Okay, supersetting at least four times round. Now, the reason why I do them that way round, you can do any other way round, doesn't matter too much, but that the reverse grip is stronger than the actual wide grip, so you'll be able to get spend less time changing weight if you have to change your weight at all. So from that, then gonna to go to a seated row to a double to a barbell row. Okay? So I'm gonna move the camera to here. Cool. I'm going to adjust that down. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so here we go. So a seated row. So if you've got a seated row machine, fine. Or if you have to sit on the floor, fine. Okay. If you have your knees slightly bent, I like to have mine flat. So you can stay upright. Here, this is with a multi bar. You can use a little V bar. Uh, but I suggest we use this particular grip on this one. Okay, so let's go for this grip. So there are two ways of doing this. So if you look at the demonstration video, so you stretch in the front, sit here, and row. At the moment, I just want you to stay nice and still in the upper body, and row with the elbows and pull the shoulder blades back. Okay, so we're coming real tight to the hip, and retracting everything back at the back. You're gonna pick a weight, you kind of hit about, once again, 10 to 12, maybe eight to 12. Reps straight off the back of that, because we're going straight to the superset. You're going to pick your barbell up. Okay. And you're going to run. So I need to adjust the camera just a little bit. Okay. Neutral grip, barbell row. Retracting everything back. So now we're working the lower back as well, and working the entire back muscle. Okay. Okay, so that's that. That'll do for that. At the end of this, you can then do a set of good mornings with a barbell, with the same barbell. Okay, so we're going to show you that now. You need to adjust the camera just a little bit more. I want to be upright more. Okay, about there. Adjust the weight on the barbell so you're getting a set of 15 standard reps or 10. To uh, 10 to 15 reps, okay. So, here, there, okay, good. Squeezing the back at the back, okay. So, straight after that, you're going to go over to biceps, okay. So, I need to spin the camera around and adjust it up. Go. Cool. Okay, a little bit higher. We can drag on with it. <laughs> okay, so our biceps should be pretty warm by now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to a cable bicep neutral grip curl, okay, into reverse curl. 
So straight into our superset. You can pyramid up if you feel like it. So pyramid up on this particular grip, okay, using the entire part of your bicep. But we're going to go straight to our superset. So here we go. Shoulder blades back. Okay, elbows tight to the body. Let the wrist drip back to a little bit. Squeeze the biceps at the top and down at about this pace, okay. Repetitions in terms of speed, I want it pretty much feel speed. So when I say feel speed, I want you to feed it into the muscles. So it might mean you slow it right down. Okay, so by this, okay, that's more like a burn. You're not really rubbing across the fibres enough. You're skipping a lot of things, a lot of fibres. So the fibres are the, are the, are the, are the filaments that are inside of your fasciculi, okay, which are basically your, your microfills and fibres are your muscles and such. Okay, so straight from this, okay, I'm going to probably about 10 to 12 reps. I'm going to go straight to an overhand grip, same position in terms of the body and the cable. Okay, so I want the cable almost when it's up here, almost level. So that cable should be level in terms of to the wall. So there, yeah, squeeze at the top, keeping the wrist as straight as possible. Okay, good. Four times round. From there, you're then going to go to a seated concentration curl. So I'm going to adjust that camera just a little bit. So there. Bend my dumbbells up. After you've rested and stretched your biceps, after you've rested and stretched your biceps by just pointing some wall behind you, you're going to put the bench at an angle of say 45 degrees, lean back, feet firm in the floor. Here, okay, if you're not too sure on this exercise, watch your demonstration video and curl up and squeeze. Okay, once again, aim, aim for that 10 to maybe 12 reps. Okay, 8 to 12 reps is still good. Okay, once you fatigue off that, hammer curl, straight into a seated concentration hammer curl. Here, here, and squeeze. Okay, now we're working the bicep at its longest point back here. Okay, there you're working halfway in between. In a second, we're going to take it to its shortest point. So you do this though, the super setting, okay, standard concentration curl into a seated concentration curl, straight after each other, at least four times round. When you fatigue, when you fatigue, when you've, when you've done that, okay, rest a little bit, stand up with a set of dumbbells, and now you can get me a standard set of 12 to 15 reps for about four sets, okay? Curl up, curl up, okay? Curl here. Standing concentration curl, putting the bicep to its shortest point as well. But other than that, we're going to go to core next. So I'll see you in a second. Bye. Okay, going to core. Right, so we're going to superset on the core. Just turn it back a little bit more this way. Okay, what you're going to do, you're going to go from a crunch to a leg raise. And after that, we're going to go to a side oblique crunch into a side plank. So let's just show you what I'm talking about. You can pyramid up on this on the first set to put loads of blood in there. So the normal set of 15, 15. Or well, don't even worry about pyramid up on the, on, on the core as such, okay, in terms of pyramid. Just give me the, maybe a couple of sets of 15 to put loads of blood in there. You don't have to do that. If you've done it after your back workout and your bicep, your core would already be pretty warm. Okay, so anyway, so we're gonna get straight on the actual super setting. So what we're gonna do is normal crunch, okay. Yeah, and we crunch as many as we can. Just keep going until you fatigue. Once you fatigue, here, here, leg raise, straight your leg raise. Concentrate on the lower part of your abs. Just keep going, keep going, okay? Fatigue. So fatigue means you can't do it anymore. Rest for as short amount of period as possible. Go again. Four times round. Now you go to this side of bleed crunch. So this is where you have your feet here. You can do both your legs and your upper body at the same time with your side of your body aiming towards the ceiling. You plant your elbow here a little bit. You don't, shouldn't really use that too much, but just a little bit in the elevation. But in a moment, you're just gonna keep your feet to the floor maybe and just crunch up to here. Okay, crunch up to there. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna work to the opposite oblique after our fatigue here. So I'm gonna go straight to the side plank from here. Now I'm working this oblique. Okay, and I'll do that at least four times round. I go to the other side and I repeat. Core done. Okay. Week two, back and bicep, second workout and core, second workout. I'll see you on the leg day.
Got any questions, contact me and I'll answer them. Bye.